Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I have a message for every Democrat out there, and that is this. Your party has been taken over. It is no longer the Democratic Party you once knew and loved. It has been overrun by socialist mentality and principles, and I'm going to prove it to you in today's report. But before I do, I want to give a quick shout out to my partner at HistoricSilverCoins.com. If you guys have not checked out uh, the Morgan coin, I encourage encourage you to do so. These things are a keepsake. You can get it from uh, basic condition all the way to mint condition, but these are very good bartering tool to have. So check it out at historicsilvercoins.com. Use the code Lisa for a $5 discount. All right, back to the report. So where is this proof that the Democratic Party has been taken over by the socialist, progressive, globalists? Well, for starters, let me take you to a poll. Now, this is found on Axis.com, and it's titled, Exclusive Poll, Young Americans Are Embracing Socialism. It goes on to state that Generation Z has a more positive view of the world socialism than previous generations, and along with millennialists, are more likely to embrace socialistic policies and principles than past generation. And that's according to a new Harris poll that was given exclusively to Axis. Now, what exactly was on this particular poll? Well, it reveals that 73.2% agreed that the government should provide universal health care, which is a socialized way of medicine. Here's another 67.1% agreed that college should be free. Once again, a socialist principle. 49.6% prefer to live in a socialized country and 43.1% believe that we should abolish ICE altogether and open up our borders. Now, this poll very clearly reveals that the younger generations, the millennialists, my own generation, along with Generation Z, both believe and feel that socialism is better, basically, than anything on earth, and that we need this kind of system here in America. The problem is, many of these socialist principles have crept into the Democratic Party. Therefore, a lot of our many millennialists and Generation Z are becoming, quote unquote, Democrats, though it isn't even the real Democrat from before. And coming up in 2020, they're going to make 37%. That's a huge number uh, votes there in 2020. So we have some serious problems. But the fact of the matter is, Democrats themselves have become socialized. Check out this other report. This is from the WashingtonExaminer.com and it's titled 2020 Poll. 77% of Democrats actually back socialism, even though most voters do not. Maybe this is why there has been a rise in Democrat socialists, such as Bernie Sanders, such as AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, such as Elizabeth Warren, who's got, denies that she's a socialist. However, lots of her values and principles go against her own democratic views, as well as Kamala Harris, Omar, and multiple others who have socialized tendencies within the Democratic Party. This has become a party of not Democrat capitalists like it used to be, but more of a Democrat socialized versions. And in all reality, socialism has worked in no country ever before. In fact, it always ends up like Venezuela, like people in food lines, people getting food rations. And here in America, I want to stay very clear of these socialist principles and principles and rules here in my country. Let me just show a few more examples of how bad socialism has infiltrated the Democrat Party. Check this out. This is from the Boston Herald. Bernie Sanders pitches a progressive, that is another word for socialism, track record to the New Hampshire voters. Here's another Des Moines Register.com Iowa poll. Most likely Democratic caucus goers would be satisfied with a presidential candidate who leans towards socialism. Foxbusiness.com Democratic presidential candidates steering towards a socialized platform. It goes on to list that the Democratic presidential candidates from Massachusetts, that is Elizabeth Warren, from New Jersey's Cory Booker, to California Senator Kamala Harris, to New York Senator Elizabeth Gildebrand, and Senator Bernie Sanders have all endorsed the Green New Deal. The Green New Deal, by the way, comes from a self-proclaimed socialist, AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, 
it is pushing this deal and it is shockingly being endorsed by Democratic presidential candidates, which should scream and, and, and send up every alarm bell within the Democratic Party, being that this socialized form way of life is even endorsed by any of them is just beyond me. But how did we get this far? How is it that our democratic system has been taken over by socialists? Well, check out this article. This is from Infowars.com, published by Michael Schneider, but it's 50 actual college course titles that prove that America's universities are training our college students to be socialists. Some of the courses include Who is a Fascist? Cultural and Politics on the Radical Right. This one bashes anyone on the right. Marx in the 21st Century. Progressivism or Socialism in Theory and Practice. Oppression, oppression and Social Justice. Ecofeminism. Promoting Social Justice Diversity and Inclusion Capstone. Beyond Intersectionality. Developing Anti-Race an anti-capitalist feminist immigration to the U.S. beyond walls introduction to social justice interrogate masculinities and much much more the truth is socialism has already taken over many of our college courses and many of our school classes as a result we have millennialists and generation z raising up to the forefront to be a huge chunk of the voter pool in this coming election and they now believe that socialism is a way of life and a beautiful thing socialism that has destroyed numerous amounts of countries now i want to encourage anyone who believes believes that these practices are actually legit and real to visit the country of Venezuela, to visit the country of North Korea, to visit China where communist socialism, which are one in the same, are in heavy practice. And the other thing that I want to say is this, why would anyone want socialism? Well, the answer is simple, for control. It always happens that the rich ruling class controls the poor class. There is no way for anyone to make money on a socialized system. Only the ruling class will ever rule and have a say. This is the worst possible system and it always leads to communism and it always leads to tyranny and it always leads to suppression and bondage. Please wake up your democratic friends and thanks again for tuning into my channel. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.